the visionary in my own um, sense is having someone who already you know, clearly has a kind of a society that right. he wants to be proud to be a citizen of, yeah. of the country. Then coming to be a leader, you're kind of saying, okay, if I have an opportunity to serve, to be part and instrument to building that vision, that country, I am ready and I am willing. Then the two days in there is that willingness is out to give everything to be part of the process, not the type that people will come and say, eh, this is in our country, eh, Nigeria, eh, they, until they do this. And somebody saying until they, you're wondering, is that person not part of this country? <laughs> that person is not a visionary. Yeah. And yeah. it's not only when you want to come into politics, that you now start sounding like you are part of us. Mm. In the first place, you can't be a visionary while you are going to, you are staying, or your family is in another country completely. You have a country you want to stay in, you know, UAE or Dubai or uh, US or wherever you want to stay. That's where you have your country. And that's where you have your family. Because that's where your heart lies. If you actually wanted that kind of country, what are you doing? Even before becoming a leader, what have you done that is yeah. to build that kind of country? Yeah. And you spread it out. You discuss with the people. You encourage people. Let's build this kind of country. This is ours. This is the only country we have. So that's the kind of thing I see about being a visionary or a vision bearer. Vision. You carry it, and people who see that vision with you, yeah, you're you. willing to move with you. All right. Yeah. So that simply means that Nigerians, as we prepare to vote next year, we must watch out for someone who has a vision for Nigeria. When you were talking, incidentally, you mentioned you when you talk about it by my host, the book My Vision by Mohammed Ben. Soon, you know, the 